Five Best Life Lessons People Often Learn Too Late When you change the quality of your thinking, you change the quality of your life, sometimes instantly. Therefore, I find these lessons so interesting and crucial on our paths to success in life. Do you ever wish, as I sometimes do, that you could go back and tell your younger self all the important life lessons that you know now? There are many lessons most people learn way too late in life. We picked the top five. It is best to learn these lessons while you are still young before it is too late. Apply these lessons to your life today, so that you can experience a greater freedom, happiness, and fulfillment in all the rest of your life. Number 1. Life is a journey, not a destination. Life is about living. We cannot know what is coming, and we need to enjoy every day, instead of trying to arrive. We should enjoy the unfolding and the process, do not just wait to get to the next best thing like buying a house, being promoted, having a baby etc. And while there is nothing wrong with wanting things in your life or aspiring, Sometimes those goals and dreams do distract us from the beauty in the daily moments. So, the problem is that when we are young, we focus on goals, and if we do not immediately achieve them, we become disappointed and give up. Remember that it is often not just the goal, but the journey that counts. Thus, sometimes the goals that we reach are not important. Rather, the person we become whilst trying to reach them is what counts most. Number 2. Life is unfair except it. Your colleague unfairly got the promotion you really deserved, or the person of your dreams ignores you to go out with you. But go out with the playground bully that does not know how to count to hundred. Or you work hard and around the clock and still struggle to make ends meet while someone lazy just live lavish life. There is no use complaining and spending time feeling sorry for yourself or feeling depressed being or grumpy all your life about it. Just because you think you deserve something does not mean you will get it. One of the worst things you can do for self-development is comparing yourself to other people. It is easy to get caught up in jealousy and wanting what other people have especially with the way we interact with social media. You have to remember that people tend to show only the best parts of their lives on those platforms. It is not fair to yourself when you see that, and you wish you had that or look like that. That is distractive, unproductive, and makes us less appreciative of what we have in our own life. Most often, your perception of someone's life is a fallacy. And even if it is not, focus on yourself. It is your journey and your path that you should be concerned with. Number 3. Everything is temporary. Nothing lasts forever. While it is difficult to digest, the truth is that nothing we have will last forever, not even us within a century. We all be dead, buried and in many cases, forgotten. Our life is now. We spend too much time complaining about the past and worrying about the future, while the present escapes us. That means we live in two times that don't exist, the past and the future, while we let everything, we truly have the here and now vanish. The sooner we learn this lesson, the sooner we will be able to make the most of our time. In fact, by learning to enjoy the here and now, and paying more attention to what is around us, and those close to us will avoid future regret. 
common mistake. Note that today's sacrifices will pay off tomorrow. At first glance, this point may seem to go against what we have previously said. But let's not confuse these two things. The fact that we have to live life to the fullest every day, because life isn't permanent doesn't mean that we can't make sacrifices today to build for a better future. Remember that today is what we call tomorrow, yesterday. Use your time for what matters and to the fullest. Number 4. Do not make mountains out of molehills. Which means do not greatly exaggerating the severity of situations. There could be many occasions where we treat a problem as if it was very serious when in fact it is not. In fact, it's likely that on more than one occasion, when you look at the past, you realize that you were worried about something for no reason, and that you reacted in a totally exaggerated way, always fearing the worst. Remember that when we are immersed in the problem, it can seem bigger than it is. But we only need to take a step back and go outside to put everything into perspective. Number 5. Face your fears, be yourself and follow your dreams. Many people never fail in life. Never. These are called losers. The concept is simple. If you never want to fail, don't try and live in mediocrity. But if you want to do something important, be ready to fail. Not once, but 100 times and absorb the criticisms you receive, even if in most cases they are not very constructive, and they are from those who have nothing better to do. You only live once, don't care about the judgments of others, with the obvious exception of constructive criticism that should instead be welcomed since they help you grow, face your fears before they consume you in reality. Fear is a defensive emotion, and it warns us that something may be dangerous. But there are fears that are paralyzing. They stop us from growing. In such cases, you have to overcome them. The sooner you overcome a fear, the better. Given that once you have overcome it, you'll hardly return to worrying about it because you know how to defeat it. Which of these five errors do you make? If you would like to share it with us, leave us comment with your experience. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to push the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video and inspire others. Like this video and inspire me. Stay positive and stay blessed wherever you are.